Hello guys, this is Cool Bros here. Um, today I'm gonna do a video on Easy Seat. Uh, I tried it two times and let you guys know how it worked out for me. So, Easy Seat, if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure most people you know, but people who don't, those are seeds for the grass. Let's see how the progress goes. Alright, start out. I'm using this Scott Easy Seed Patch and Repair. And for my grass, I'm selected the Bermuda grass. As you can see, I bought the the big bag, which is I believe so. It is 20 pound, which covers 445 square feet, basically right there. And to start it out, I, I tried it last year and uh, it didn't go well because I was learning my way you know how to do this process but this year I have a little bit better progress so I'm gonna take you to the yard and uh, show you what it looks like here we have um, out on the yard this is the progress after I would say close to one month about 25 days or so and as you can see the grass started coming up. It took about, I would say, 10 days for me to start seeing the, you know, seeds being germinated into small, very, very tiny grass. Um, just wanted to say that this is my second trial, and the first time I did it, I didn't have these bricks right here, as you can see, to, you know, stop seeding from washing away because this is a slopey area right here and I just wanted to make sure that nothing is washed away and as you can see initially I had all the dirt and all these rocks were covered on top there was a soil basically on top of it uh, so after it rained a few times uh, it started taking all that little bit of soil washing away and as you, as you can see even though I put a brick Blocks. There's some areas where it started, you know, creating you know water. You cannot stop them. Basically, it's gonna flow one way or the other. All you can do is guide them. So the, the whole intention was here to let the water flow, but hopefully dirt or soil stays for grass to grow. As you can see, this is the more flatter area right here, and flatter area where you know the soil stayed and it, the grass grew pretty good um, I, I created a few blocks to kind of create a layers basically the layers of you know like a the fir very first layer right here so a little bit soil slips from here into second cube right here or square rectangle and then uh, and probably a little bit on the other side so uh, but then the, the soil also now has to go through the second set of wall in order to pass so I just created a few layers here in order to prevent as much as ret basically retain the soil as much as possible and and um, as you can see as I go towards the bottom of the slope right here it, it started you know you can see the how much washout effect is happening here and you have to be careful, very, very careful about, um, you know, when you're, when you're sitting on the slopey area. When you do that, the, the washout effect is going to just take your, all your seeds and just take them to where you don't want to see, basically. And most of the time, it's going to be failure. That's what happened my first time. The first time, I did pretty much this same thing. I brought in, you know, one full dump truck of soil dumped it in there and then put a seeds on top of it but I didn't put any blocks layers like a brick layer here in order to prevent washout so when I did that when I, when I did that last year the result was like I got probably 20% of grass growth so it was a complete leaf failure or most of it failure so this time I, try, I thought let me try it a different way um, one thing I'm gonna say you know the format I followed was I watered it first 10 days about three times a day 
So I took those seeds and basically I placed those seeds into um, Scott edge guard spreader which I'll show you in a second here um, and then I just uh, you know ran over the wherever I wanted to seed. So Here's the Scott easy um, seed spreader. I use this one basically there. and basically what I did is I just put a bunch up in there and I set up the maximum settings basically I brought it up to I believe so the maximum is 15 so basically I use about one and a half times as much as recommended quantity using this spreader the reason behind that you know what I read online it said it if you the germination you know rate for the seeds typically it's about 70 60 percent so I just wanted to make sure that I get full you know completely area all the area covered so for the whole process what I did is first went to you know Home Depot bought those seeds they were 50% off and yes yeah, some people might gonna say you know why did you why did you do um, you know easy seed you could have done just regular seeds and put all the you know different fertilizer on top of it in order to you know grow those seeds yes I could have done that but I guess I was a little bit lazy where I thought maybe I can just find a bag which is easy seed which has all everything that you know grass seed needs to grow so I ended up doing following that route because I bought about seven or eight bags in order to cover this uh, area I think I used up end up using six bags total combined so after I purchased those bags I basically you know lay down about two inch or maybe three inch of dirt that I was able to find uh, at one of the sites uh, construction sites I basically went to one of the construction site and asked them if they have any excess soil they can you know let me have and they said yeah they can have it you know I can have it but I had to go and pick it up so I was like what about can you deliver it to my home and they said and it was about two three miles away so it wasn't that far and so so they they had a company like a big dump truck company which can deliver and stuff so I ended up paying about hundred and twenty dollars hundred and twenty five dollars for it to be delivered to my place and we, we were looking at full dump truck and I and oh boy it took a while I'm, I might post a few pictures here you know and show you exactly you know how much amount that I got the soil and it took a while for me to transfer all that soil from my front drive it to the backyard but anyway I put a layer three inch layer and after placing three inch layer I after placing three inch layer I use the like I said mentioned before the uh, spreader and put all the seeds in there and spread it across and then once I finished spreading it I created those um, the border with those bricks uh, so I, I call it concrete bricks um, I don't know what's the proper name for it to retain all those seeds in that location and prevent from washing away so once I did that you know it's it becomes easy that that was the hard part is the putting the soil down and uh, putting uh, you know creating those blocks to prevent it from washing away so once I did that it's just easy as um watering so basically i watered it in first 10 15 days i believe so about 15 days in the morning afternoon and evening three times a day basically i watered it just enough to get you know grass you know soaking all the water as much as i could into the soil without creating a puddle so as moment I start seeing that, that it's not soaking up the water, I stopped that area and I just moved on to another area. So I did that for about 15 days. After doing that 15 days, you know, I started noticing that, you know, small grass appearing about very, very tiny, I would say one eighth of an inch um, to up start appearing. And uh, so after that, I kind of slowed down the process just to morning and evening. 
and that, that's what I'm doing right now. So it's been, like I said, 25 days. And we'll, we'll, I'll give you a uh, progress and see how it goes. Um, hopefully it grows. I mean, it is growing, but hopefully it grows into a full, you know, turf, like bulkiness. So I'll, I'll keep, keep you updated. Um, and uh, guys, thanks for watching my video. And I just want to let you know this is my first video. So I have a lot of learn things to learn. Uh, please, if you have any suggestion to make this video better, anything that I can mention, I'm pretty sure there's probably a long list of things you can mention. So please put them down here in the comments. And if you like the video, I would say subscribe them. If you want to see the second part of it, which hopefully I'll uh, do another one after 15 days, another 15 days, and then I'll do another video to give you progress. Thank you guys. I'm out.